Today we are looking at a problem from the Harvard MIT math tournament. Give it a try, but we will move on to the solution. So we first observe that the denominator is a plus b times c plus c times a plus c, which is symmetric. Hence, we could manipulate the numerator, which is not symmetric, into a symmetrical form. Here we can swap the variables around, because the denominator will always stay symmetric, numerator will not, and if we add them, we might get a really nice symmetric pattern. So specifically, there are six permutations of ABC because of three factorial, which is six. So ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, ACAB, and CBA. So since a numerator is not symmetric and we could use these kind of permutations to make them one, uh, we could evaluate S in six different ways. So we can evaluate in such, or in such, and notice they're just permutations of ABC. They are not too scary. And the denominator will always stay the same because it's symmetric, even if we switch ABCs around with different permutations. And we could add the numerators together, as we've discussed, to make the expression symmetric. And this would become AB times 3A plus 3B plus 2C plus BC times 3B plus 2C plus 2A plus CA times 3C plus 3A plus 2B. And you would get the this really nice, not really nice to be honest, it's symmetric at least, expanded form. So now we could try to simplify the seemingly complicated yet symmetrical expression. So we have the expression mentioned above. We collect some terms together and here a squared b plus a squared c, b squared c plus bc squared, and ab squared plus 2abc plus ac squared. And you would notice there's a really nice common factor of b plus c. And the last term, ab squared plus 2abc plus ac squared, you simply take the a out and you get b plus c squared. Now, let's take the obvious common factor, b plus c out, and you have a squared plus bc plus ab plus ac which simply and surprisingly is a plus b times c plus a, which is equal to our denominator. How surprising. And we could simplify this really monster result. So 6s will be equals to uh, this really complicated expression, which is what we added of the six permutations of ABC. And since a plus b times b plus c plus c plus a cancels out, we get 2s equals to that cyclic sum of 1 over 4 to the power a times 1 over 4 to the power b times 1 over 4 to the power c, or of the uh, reciprocal. So we sort of simplified to something uh, simple, and now we just have to notice a, b, and c are independent of each other. So we could simply pair uh, their respective sum to their respective expression. So here we could see we can uh, separate it into sum of 1 over 4 to the power of a times 1 over 4 to the power of sum of 1 over 4 to the power of b times 1 sum of 1 over 4 to the power of c. And this is simply the formula for infinite geometric series, hence 2s is 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 times 1 over 3, which is 1 over 27. And divided by 2, we get our final answer, s is 1 over 54. So this problem might seem really problematic, it might seem monstrous, but if you try simple ideas as such, you will solve it pretty quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing and we will see you next time.